Hello, in this video I will show you how to calculate how to use the inverse normal distribution function in order to calculate the value of a random variable that follows normal distribution. So in a few words what we need is sometimes at uh, some problems that we face is that we have a random variable that follows normal distribution with a specific uh, arithmetic mean and standard deviation. For our example, the mean is 120 and the standard deviation is equal to 15. So the problems that we face sometimes are related to calculating the value x that the random variable gets when we know the probability for that. In order to calculate the value of, of x, we need to use the inverse uh, distribution function for the normal uh, distribution. In order to perform this calculation with SPSS, first of all we need to define a new variable to hold the value. Let's name that variable x. The type is numeric. Uh, let's place the decimals and the measurement as a scale 1. And let's place an initial value of 0. The next step is to use the transform compute variable menu and from that pick the inverse distribution functions from the function group. As you can see here we have a variety of uh, distributions. We scroll down and we find the IDF normal which is the inverse distribution function for the normal distribution. So here we need to if we double click, you see that it uh, passes the function into the numeric expression. And here we need to declare which variable are we going to compute, which is the x. Here we need to define three values, the probability, the mean, and the standard deviation. From our example, the probability is 0 0.8. So we replace with the value 0 0.8 the mean is 120 and the standard deviation is 15. If I press the OK, calculation is 132.62 and as you can see it ag agrees with the value that I have calculated using a pocket calculator. So for this value uh, we know that 80% of that uh, that, that this value corresponds to uh, if we uh, have a view of the normal distribution that 80% of the values will be less than that. Now in some problems we want to find the opposite to find how many uh, uh, we know for example the percentage that the values of uh, the specific uh, random variable will be greater than this value. So we're looking for the value that separates in a 20-80 uh, uh, ratio, to put it uh, simply. While in the first case, we're looking for the 80-20 ratio. So 80% will be uh, below and 20% will be above the value 132. So here we're looking for a value of the variable that splits the entire group of values of x into a ratio 2080. So in order to do that we need to use that formula for the uh, for the probability and if we perform the calculation we will use the probability 20%. So we go again to the compute variable and instead of 0 0.8 we use the 0 0.2. Pressing OK we see that the new value is 107.38. So let me repeat that. In the first case we're looking for a value of our random variable that separates the entire spectrum of values into a ratio 80-20 which means that 80% of the values are below 132 and 20% of the values are above 132. 
in the second case, we're looking for a value of our random variable, which separates the spectrum of values of the random variable at the ratio 20-80. So 20% 20 of the values are below 107 and 80% of the values are larger than 107. And to do that, as I said, we use the inverse normal uh, inverse distribution function for the normal distribution.